Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Tank, and this is an episode of Tank's Foods and Drinks. Today we will be making steak tacos. Alright, now, we're going to take some steak and just cut it into little cubes. Let's go like this. You know, just cut it up. Sometimes it can can work, you know. Just actually this way it's gonna go quicker, just like that. You just slice them. You know, be very careful with the knife. It's a really sharp knife. And you know, you just go like this. Like that. Oop, get that, let that go like that. Okay, we go like this, go for the end. And just repeat the process over and over until all the steaks are cut. Alright guys, we got all the steak chopped up and we got it in the skillet. Now we're going to pour some olive oil on there. Yeah, just, you know, get nice and around there. Get that into a nice boil and get this meat nice and brown looking. This might take a little while to like get the process going, so we're just going to set this to high, so that process can start. Well, as this is preparing, guys, we're going to start preparing something else. We're going to make the... We're going to make some guacamole here that we're going to put on the, on the tacos. Another thing, as this is, gets to a boil, we're going to have this get to a boil, and now we're going to work on these avocados here to make some guacamole. So have that, we'll have that cook for a little bit. Fucking. Damn, that was annoying. Okay, see we got that going as a boil. Right now we're gonna let that cook. Now we're gonna get come to these avocados we got here. Now let me just wash off this knife. Give me a minute. Clean instruments, guys. That's what we need. The steak is getting nice and, and brown looking from both the oil, but now we're going to just start get the rotation here where we just go like, okay, we just go like, yep, get that nice and around this like that. And ta-da! Oh boy. That pit looks pretty... And they're pretty deep, guys, so we're just gonna quickly. I'm gonna grab the blender, the mini blender, to do this. Well, first we're gonna chop it up and 
then put it in the mini blender. But first I'm going to find a little bowl. Okay, we've got this little bowl here right now. We're going to just take a spoon. Take a spoon, just go like this. Just scoop it out. Try to get all the excess stuff that's still in the outside. There we go. Now we just take that out. And I'm gonna try to scoop this pit out. Oh, whoa! <laughs> a little bit of a mess there. I'm just gonna grab this. Put this in the garbage. Cause that's no good. Okay, we just, again, you know, same process, we just scoop this side out into the bowl and get the excess stuff that's inside, just like that. Okay, same with this, this one, just like around and around and around and around and around. Okay, good. Now we just twist it. And I believe I can again I can just scoop this out. Just like that. Okay, good. And oh yeah, that I'm gonna we're gonna cut to the to the steak here pretty quick again because I guess get rid of this pit. But first, before I get to the steak again, I am going to scoop this out. You know. There we go. Okay, now we're going heading back to the steak here. See, look at the color difference. And now, we just grab a spoon, big one, and we just stir it up. We're just going to stir all this up here. Get rid of all that pink. Now just keep stirring the thing up for a little while. Every few minutes, you know, just keep it keep it to a boil. And now we're gonna go to the to the mini blender in a little bit here. So with to mix the avocado stuff. So now we go back to over here. Mini blender, and here we can get rid of this. Well, little avocado shard on the drawer here. That's okay. Nice and cleaned off now. Okay, now I'm just gonna stick this, plug it in, and just start plopping these into the mini blender. And just have it, you know, spin cycle, you know, just chop it up a little bit more and then I will put it in a bowl, like a little bit of a bowl and add the, then just add this, add this stuff to it. Okay, here's the lid. Let's go like that.
we still gotta do a little bit more with this but it's just about done and we can just scoop it into a bowl another bowl and just let it process of it, it's almost done, but you know. That looks like it's pretty much done. And now we are going to go back to the steak because I see a big boil bubbles situation right here. Yeah, look at all that. Now we just got to stir this up. And you know, it's starting to look pretty good. You know, so we're going to have to drain the oil and the and all the moisture that came from the steak out eventually but not quite yet just it's pretty dang close though it smells awesome in here guys I'm just letting you know you guys you really to get invest in like smell vision but they've tried that in the past and apparently it doesn't really work very well because well you can't through see smell through glass my friends this I love cooking guys I just got to tell you I do love cooking it you know I'm not afraid to say it I love cooking it's just it's a, the things I make just are really really good now we got that under under a good thing now we're gonna just go back to the to the guacamole here for a moment it's still in the blender so now we just gotta go like this. If I can get it out, just there you go. <laughs> okay. All right. This will probably work. This little pink bowl. We have a tiny, 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 tiny lid for it. We'll find out here in a moment. I just need to look. Does not seem like it at this point in time. This, these will have to do. Let's give me a minute to check. Nope, not that one. But. Aha! I believe I found it. There we go. Good. It just smells awesome in here, guys. Okay, now we just take the blade out. There we go. I'm just cleaning off the blade right now for the avocado mess. Okay, now we're going to uh, take this, the spoon we took to take the pit and stuff out and just start plopping it in there. Just start. You know, just get all the goop that out out of there. Okay.
Okay, that's good. Have that soak in the water for a little bit. Now, we add this liquid like guacamole stuff. They used to be just seasoning stuff, but oh boy, just I'm just gonna take a scissors. I don't want this stuff to spray it all over. Better be more safe than sorry. You know, you don't want to clean up more than you already have to, you know, just pour that right on top. Criminy, it looks like I could have used more, like, avocado, but I'll just stir that all in here in a little bit here. Mix it all up. And voila! You got some guac. This actually looks pretty damn good. Just all, you know, stir the shit out of it, get it all in there. Okay, good. Give me that little taste. Yep, that is good. That is good. Now we're going to cover this up and put it in the put it in the refrigerator for a little bit. Good. Okay, now we're going to shut off the steak for a bit. So you just wash this. That's nice. That's what we want. Shut off the steak for a little bit. Because now we got to drain this oil. So, I'm going to get that ready. Actually, just clean up this stuff a little bit. Well, it's it's draining. The oil is draining from this, you know, from the steak right now. Okay, now we're gonna put it back in the pan. Okay, good. We got that in the pan. Now we just gotta. Now, now we just add the seasoning. We've got the taco seasoning that we're just going to... Okay, good. We got that all on top of there. Now, we just add water. Yep, we just got to add some, well first we, we're just going to put it to six, and Mix it up. Okay. 
I'm gonna add some more seasoning. nice boil. Now we just stir it up so we get all this together. It's going to glaze over. It's going to glaze over all the meat. Okay, now we're going to prepare the taco portion, you know. Give me a minute. Okay, of course we take the shell. Okay, now we got the meat. Can we take the meat? That has been nicely glazed over. Okay, just like, you know, just spread it just like what you do a regular taco. Like that, you're taking it to the top. There we go, just like that. Okay. Now we're gonna add some cheese. Okay, now we just add the cheese, just like that, and then, okay, after you stick it in the microwave, the cheese, you know, the cheese will melt over it, and then, we grab the lettuce, just spread it on top. Guacamole. Now we're just gonna, you know, just plop it on the top there, just like spread it out to the top and to the bottom. Good. Then we take some sauce. I usually put hot sauce on it, but we're out of hot sauce today, so we're going to have to use the mild, but oh well. It'll still be good. Okay, there we go. Alright guys, let's try this thing out. That's good guys. I'll get give you the the recipe in the description below this video. And this is really really good. Steak tacos, my friend. My friends. It's really good. See now you gotta just now get Get a little. Okay, we got guacamole on there. Okay, yeah, it's all good. This is 
been Tank for Tank's Foods and Drinks. Steak tacos. Till next time, my friends. Drink on, eat on, and get it on. That's Tank's word of the day. Peace out, y'all.